Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, what I forgot for you? Well, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Commodore 64 emulator, which is called the C64MU. It's found on the Google Play Store, and I really like this emulator. So, first thing to do is you need your emulator. Once you've done that, of course, you need your ROMs, your games. Now, this can run Commodore 16 games and VIC-20. I'm not bothering with the VIC-20 because a lot of them don't work. I've tried a lot of experiments, but I just can't be bothered. It does run most Commodore 16, so I will show you what to do there. It also runs cartridge games. So once you've got your emulator and your ROMs, get File Manager, because I'm going to put a lot in files just so easier, so I'll show you what I've done. I'm in the SD card, and they're here. Now to create a folder, it's easy. The three dots on the right side in the corner, you just click that, press new, and a folder. So as you can see here, I've got VIC-20, I've got Commodore 16, Underneath I've got homebrew because I've tons of homebrew games. So I didn't really want to mix them in with my Commodore 64 and normal games. I've got cartridge. Now this one here, C64MU, this is your BIOS. You need this or this emulator will not run. Quick Google search, you'll find it. Slip it in here so it's easier to find. Uh, ignore the VIC-20 again. And then I've got cartridge homebrew, new homebrew. These, it's up to you, it's because I do a lot of videos on Commodore 60, uh, 64 on Brevium, so I'll just do that so I know where they are. But it's entirely up to you how you organise your ROMs. And then like I say, your normal Commodore 64 games are just there. So let's click out of here and go back to the emulator. This is what you'll be met with like this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find your BIOS. So you will go to options, you will press on system, you will go to vice system file path, click on that, set custom path, click your arrow at the top, which will open up. So I've already got them here, but I'll just show you what you do. That's my you find your SD card, click on that, and there you have it. Top corner, right corner. So that's done. Go back, back. Now I'm going to set up the controller. There's four buttons on this controller, which I'm going to use. My X button, which is the key button, is for the normal fire button on the thing. On the joystick. The other three I'm going to use them to toggle the keyboard, swap the joystick and run stop. The reason we run stop is most games you have to keep pressing run stop so it just saves you keep bringing the keyboard up. So I'll show you how to do that. So we'll press on key gamepad input settings. Bottom is pro control which is my control I'm using. Whatever control you're using it will come up. So first of all in action keys. Now all I use here is save and load. I don't really use them, but I've put them in anyway. But I'm using L2, R2, and also open menu in case you want to change your games. I'm using the left thumb stick for that one. So we'll jump back. That's done. Like I say, you can experiment with whatever you think is best for you with your keys. Joystick keys. Right, if you look here, swap ports. So I've used one of my buttons. I've used the Y. Right, just sometimes the games you don't seem to move so you have to swap the joysticks I don't know why I don't know why they don't stick to the same port but some games you have to swap it and then it's simple here up press up on your key right down left ignore the left up all you have to do is up right down left on your trigger which is A for me so we jump back now keyboard keys Toggle keyboard. Now I'm using X on my controller. That's vital because you do need the keyboard. And then if you go down here, my fourth button on the controller 
is run stop. I'll show you when we're using this emulator why it's essential. Right, so we've done that. We've got our ROMs, we've put them in folders. We've set up our controller. There's nothing else you really need to do. When you load gain, you will have to find your ROMs. So it's like I say, use the arrow, just find your SD card. Now as you can see, because I've put them in folders, at top I've got Commodore 16, I've got my own brew, my cartridge. That's my BIOS files, ignore VIC-20. Cartridge, own brew, my own brew. So, we want to start again. Let's have a look for... What can we pick? I'm start at a line or pick. Where are we? One of the Commodore 64 classics. Bruce Lee. This also plays tape, disc, and it also plays PRG files. So you can stick any kind of ROM. So Bruce Lee. As you can see, a run stop. There's more, most of these games you always have. So, what I'll do instead of bringing the keyboard up, I'll just show you a run stop on the keyboard. But you can't, it's hard to see. But press my button, run stop. So, make sure you configure that into one of your buttons, run stop. Right, you bring your keyboard up, which is the other button. No, no. Take it, press it again to take it off. Now we need F7. And away we are. Change the joystick port. It won't move in. Right, I'm going to press the L thumb button, which will bring you to this. Click bottom, goes back, brings you back up to your ROMs again. So now, I'll just show you that it plays cartridge games. Let's go down what we're going to play this time. We're going to play, play another classic. Boogie boy. If you've never played this, I recommend it. Absolutely. Right, I'm going to press that back out now. Coming all sixteen. So what we do now, as you can see here, at system, click on that. Press plus four, which is Commodore 16 plus four. Yeah. Go back in. You will now be on Commodore 16, load game. And as you can see, just click the arrow, come out of the cartridge file. Go into Commodore 16, 
So there's your games. Let me have a look where you know. Bit of all feeders in one Yeah, there we have it. Come off that. Back. Now, if you want to go back into Commodore. 64 just press system coming out 64 at the top where we are back in also if you press recent games it'll show you the games that you've been on you can clear the list and i think that's about it so there you have it hope you enjoyed that video give us a like don't forget if you're new subscribe because i'll do all kinds of setups for emulators i've done a few so look back so thanks for watching See you soon.